Welcome to the virtual tour of the Senior School. Bishop Stalford College Senior School is a vibrant and busy place. Our pupils are motivated and engaged in their educational journey, an inspirational voyage of discovery. This virtual tour will give you an overview of what we offer academically. Please bear in mind that classes look a little different at the moment due to COVID-19. What's going to happen to the wives? But our highly professional and dedicated teachers are still delivering fantastic lessons to exciting young minds. We aim to develop our young people into well-equipped individuals who, when they leave the college, are ready to go out into the world and to embrace all it has to offer. The geography team have an excellent track record not just in terms of examination results, but in the skills the pupils acquire. Ed, you're next. If there's a low birth rate, it shows that families don't need to necessarily have, um, produce many children. Pupils enjoy field trips outside the campus too, and are able to use our impressive geographical information system technology in lessons. The library, currently home to the Upper Sixth Bubble, is usually open every evening, and at weekends too and is a quiet place for study, investigation and research. Our modern foreign language teams never sit still. Each has a native speaker language assistant and an established exchange programme so that pupils are equipped for comprehension and communication in their target language. At GCSE and A level, pupils are expected to achieve their full potential. Through the development of the four basic language skills, reading, writing, speaking and listening. The average GCSE class size is 15 and A level classes are usually two to seven students. Activities range from inter-school debating competitions to creative writing competitions held in conjunction with Oxford University. Pupils enjoy a Duolingo challenge or days exploring German artwork at the Tate, or even making films in French and learning how to cook delicious Spanish delicacies. Our ethics, philosophy and theology department covers questions of religion, belief, war and peace, crime and punishment and other interesting contemporary subjects. Um, that process of the Enlightenment We've gone to the stuff outside, so we've looked at the universe, we've looked... Class sizes range from 24 in the full form to around 10 at A-level. No, they're responsible for not having the knowledge. Good. So therefore, invincible ignorance is... And the subject has an excellent success rate. The Latin department is enjoying a period of significant growth, with an increasing number of pupils opting to take it at GCSE and A-level. Um, but then two enormous sea snakes come out of the sea and strangle Lorcan and both of his sons nail them. Woo, sign from the gods, not a good idea. We encourage pupils to investigate the familiar and unfamiliar worlds of the ancient Romans. If you take the wooden horse into your city, what happens? We'll know about the wooden horse, Thomas. Their history, religion, myths, politics and society and our biennial trip to the archaeological sites of Pompeii and Herculaneum allows our pupils to explore the ancient Roman civilizations we study in class. Latin GCSE is divided into language and literature and establishes a firm linguistic foundation through a rigorous understanding of the Latin language itself, which forms the root of so many modern European languages. So Achilles wins, and that means... Over the last five years, 100% of students have achieved A star or A at A level. And this year, one student is going to Cambridge to read classics. ICT provision at the college is excellent. Teaching and learning in the classroom is facilitated by interactive projectors and whiteboards. Curving around underneath like that, and then one more. And our provision for remote teaching and learning proved highly successful. There are dedicated IT suites in art, music, physics, design and the FLT. Our design and technology department features five well-equipped workshops where pupils can work in a wide range of materials. Their dedicated IT suite supports CAD design and we have a very well stocked library. The annual product design show showcases work encompassing architectural modeling 3D printing, and VEX robotics. Now the whole idea is, we were looking at energy changes. The physics department is based in three purpose-built, well-resourced labs. 
furnished and equipped to the highest standards. Pupils develop an appreciation for the practical so nature of physics. Is which one of them okay. is involved? What does it change to? Including safe, correct laboratory techniques, how to form hypotheses, and design experiments to test them. There's something scary about her then that isn't good for you, is that right? Mm -hmm. That you feel is going to potentially hurt you? Our drama department has its own versatile theatre space. <laughs> OK, good. Sit down, guys. That was, that was to support GCSE and A-level drama students. It kind of also plays into the whole being uncomfortable in your own body and the body image. Termly Productions give lots of opportunities for involvement on stage and behind the scenes, with lessons covering theory as well as more practical sessions. One of the real highlights for drama students is the annual trip to the Edinburgh Fringe, where students promote and perform in their own production. The Senior School Art Department is a very special place. Purpose-built, the building itself is a source of inspiration and an incredible gallery space. The six large studios, including a workshop, IT suite and dedicated sixth form studio, are complemented by a well-resourced library. There is specialist provision for large-scale work, 3D sculpture, printmaking, painting and textiles. Many pupils are invited to enter external competitions, including those run by the Royal Academy and the Young Artist Summer Show. Schoolhouse, the original school building, once the current refurbishment is complete, will become the new administrative hub of the college and home to 12 new state-of-the-art classrooms for the maths and English departments. The Memorial Hall is usually the venue for senior school assemblies, major concerts and functions. It was built in 1922 as a memorial to the old Stortfordians killed in World War I. The Ferguson Building, built on the site of our original indoor swimming pool, is now home to a large lecture theatre, an IT suite and sixth form social centre. History is one of our most what successful departments, to, with a proud record of helping pupils get into Oxford or Cambridge. At the time. What else socially were they struggling from, the people of Germany? The department covers a wide range of areas and topics, from Britain and Empire to 20th century European history to American civil rights. Biology at the college enables our pupils to acquire a systematic body of biological knowledge and an appreciation of its significance, providing great enjoyment and respect for all living things. We introduce exciting areas of biology in the contemporary world. For instance, the influence of genes on our development, environmental issues and aspects of human health. Pupils gain an understanding of the dynamic and exciting nature of biology and an awareness of the ethical, technological and economic aspects of the subject. Class sizes range from 24 at GCSE to 6 to 14 at A-level. Chemistry is an exciting and challenging subject that helps pupils understand and improve the world around us. I can tell you how slowly it will decrease, it's up to you to find. Taught in recently upgraded laboratories, our staff are proud of the atmosphere they engender in the department through their knowledge, enthusiasm and outstanding teaching. The results achieved encourage many pupils to develop their scientific interests and to use them in their future careers. Mathematics is our most popular subject at A-level. X minus 2Y equals nothing. With over 60 pupils in each year group taking the subject further. We have numerous pupils who excel in the UK Maths Challenge at both GCSE and A-level. What's going to happen to the Ys? Eliminate. Eliminate. They're gone. With many being invited to take part in subsequent rounds. 18X, good. Uh, plus 24. 24. Pupils are well prepared for A-level Maths, where our team of specialists deliver courses on pure Maths, Statistics and Mechanics. Those who really love the subject are encouraged to take further maths, and this is always very popular. The English department is busy and dynamic, a highly dedicated and enthusiastic team who strive constantly to ensure excellent achievement at both GCSE and A-level for pupils of all abilities. These two, these two kind of separate worlds, if you like, that end up colliding. Typical class sizes are 24 in the lower school and 10 or 12 at A-level. Having like all this unease and how much juxtaposition mm. is quite powerful. Yeah, really the nice English point, department yeah. are passionate believers in attending live performances, and this can include the A level poetry conference, a full form trip to the globe, many modern drama GCSE trips, and the lower sixth annual summer theatre trip. Oh.